seen one of a streetcar named Desire? The play opens in New Orleans on a street called Elysian Fields. This area is run down, but still has charm. Stanley Kowalski and his wife Stella live in the downstairs apartment of a two-story building. A white woman named Eunice talks with a black woman on the steps of the building. Piano music is heard from a nearby bar. Stanley Kowalski and his friend Mitch walk up wearing work clothes. Stanley yells to Stella, who comes out on the first floor landing. He tosses her a package of meat and says he's going bowling. Stella wants to tag along to watch him. Stanley and Mitch leave together, and Stella follows soon after. Blanche Dubois, dressed daintily in a white suit, enters carrying a valise. Blanche tells Eunice she's looking for Stella. Eunice invites Blanche to wait for Stella in the Kowalski apartment as the black woman goes to inform Stella of her sister's arrival. The apartment consists of two rooms, a kitchen and a bedroom, plus a bathroom. Blanche and Eunice enter. Eunice asks a few general questions, but Blanche <coughs> clearly wants to be left alone. Eunice leaves to get Stella and Blanche gulps down some whiskey, then washes out the glass to cover her tracks. When Stella enters, Blanche hugs her with joy. They're sisters, and they each have a drink of whiskey. Blanche openly criticizes the lower class conditions in which her sister is living. Blanche explains that she got a leave of absence from her teaching position at high school because she needs to rest her nerves. She worries about staying with Stella and her husband in such a small apartment because it lacks privacy. Stella is more worried about how Blanche will fit in with Stanley, a working class Polish American, plus all his friends. Stella admits that Stanley doesn't know about Blanche's visit, which surprises <gasps> Blanche. Then Stella describes how much she misses her husband, who often travels for work. Blanche explains how she struggled to keep their family home, a Mississippi plantation called Belle Reve, but ended up losing it. Blanche seems bitter about Stella abandoning Belle Reve for New Orleans, leaving Blanche with the burden of trying to keep it. Stanley, Mitch, and Steve arrive and make arrangements for a poker game at Stanley's apartment. Stanley is a sturdy, muscular man who exudes sexual confidence and exerts dominance over his family. He's surprised to meet Blanche. However, he accepts her staying with his family. Stanley's crude, blunt manners contrast sharply with Blanche's ladylike demeanor. Stanley mentions that Stella told him about Blanche's marriage. Blanche admits she was married when young, but the boy died. Aww. Then she feels sick. In scene one, Tennessee Williams immediately highlights some of the play's major themes, like class differences, and also the theme of desire, destruction, and death. Blanche's first line in the play links a streetcar named Desire, a streetcar named Cemeteries, and the neighborhood called Elysian Fields. In Greek mythology, Elysian Fields is the final resting place of heroic souls. Blanche's dialogue traces her progression in the play from desire to destruction and death. 